Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to modify reports in Access, you simply open them in Design View. Once you are in Design View, you can add controls to the report in the same way that you add controls to a form. However, the controls in a report are typically read-only and aren't used to change data, but to display data. One of the most useful types of controls is the calculated text box control. These are the types of fields that are created when you specify that a group in a report show a total. While you can create many of the calculated fields that you need while creating your data groupings, you can also create them yourself. A calculated field is simply a text box control that will display the result of a calculation that you create instead of a regular table field value. To create a calculated field, open the report in Report Design View and insert a regular text box control into the report. Next, select the control that you have inserted and view its properties in the property sheet. You can click the property sheet button in the tools button group on the design tab of the report design tools contextual tab in the ribbon to display the property sheet if needed. In the property sheet, select the Data tab, then click into the Control Source Property field, and then click the Expression Builder button, which looks like the button with the ellipsis mark on its face, and appears at the right end of the Control Source text box. This will then launch the Expression Builder dialog box. This dialog box is used to create functions and formulas. Either type the expression or formula to calculate into the box at the top of the Expression Builder dialog box, or select individual elements provided in the three sections at the bottom of the dialog box to create the formula. When you're done creating your formula, click the OK button to set the field's formula. Now another important consideration when you're creating a calculated field that performs a calculation on the field data in the report is where to place that field in the report. A calculated field may display different results depending upon which section of the report you insert it into. For example, if you had a calculated field that took the sum of a sales field, the formula within the calculated field would be equal sum open parenthesis open bracket sales field close bracket close parenthesis now however if you place this field into the report footer it will show the total value of that field for all records displayed as a grand total if you place this exact same field into a group footer it would show the total of that field for all of the records within the group. Placing it into the page footer would cause an error, as calculated fields cannot be evaluated on a per-page basis. Also, if you placed the calculated field into a group footer, you then have the ability to set the function as a running sum over the groups. To do this, you would simply select the field, 
Then click the Data tab in the Property Sheet. Click into the Running Sum property and set the value of this property to Yes, Over Group, or Over All, depending on whether you want to calculate a running sum per grouping or over all records. This is a great way of displaying a running total over your groups. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.